All right, welcome back. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dallas Papaglisi. Uh, today's topic is going to be on the hidden benefits of high-frequency trade, a topic that's been widely, widely scrutinized on, on – um, uh, 60 Minutes, it's been all over CNBC, there was a big debate over it. Over a week, they were talking about it. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be talking about. All right? So uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to change the slide. And uh, let me just get a couple of uh, some Cyber Trade University uh, instructors here, just so we don't have any issues. Hold on. There we go and get that up and running. So we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, things we're going to be learning. We're going to talk about how online brokers make money off me. I mean, aren't you sick and tired of hearing all this scrutiny and all this, everyone bashing and saying, oh, you know, these guys are making a fortune on us. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you the real truth, how to do it yourself. Next, what are high-frequency trades? Why, what, I mean, you know, people constantly bashing them and making such a big deal about it. But did you know it actually helps you? It doesn't hurt you. Remember, there's always a side, a different side of the story. There's three sides, their side, his side, and the truth. And you're going to see what the truth is behind it. Next thing we're going to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is um, what level two, level three is. I don't know if anybody here knows what that is, but we're going to talk about that. All right. We're also going to be talking about um, – the KISS method on a chart, stocks we've traded today, and much, much more. All right. Now, have any of you guys ever seen me do a tra um, ever seen me before? Have any of you guys ever uh, seen me do a speaking before, just out of curiosity? Uh, looks like a lot of you have. Wow, good, good, good. Wow, some of you are students also. Ed, thank you. Steve, Alexa, Janice, Rick. Okay, good, good, good. Well, thank you. I'm glad. You know what? And it's always nice to keep coming back. You always learn something new. And you know what? The more you learn, the better trader you are. But Because you want to know what? 90%, 90% of your time is spent on education. Always remember that, not on trading. So let's change the slide, ladies and gentlemen, and let's get into it. Let me just do a quick little intro about who I am, what is Cyber Trade University, and why you need to learn how to trade. Well, just a quick little background, like I said, just about me. I've been teaching people since 1995. I'm one of the original what they call SOS bandits, one of the original day traders of the industry. What you're looking at on that Forbes magazine, I was one of those kids right there at 22 years old, just a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street, going out there, doing trades, buying, selling, competing in, in one of the most prestigious jobs on Wall Street, which is being a market maker, being a trader. And what happens, the exchanges wanted this, people like you and I to have access to it. And we made fortune doing it, a ton of money. But the thing is this, to get where I was then, it took me something that was very, very expensive. Okay? What was very expensive was the ignorance of not knowing what and how to trade. That was the problem when it came to trading. Didn't know exactly what it was, how it worked. Um, why? Because I was one of those punk kids that says, ah, I don't need to learn. I go do it myself. But you know what? There's an easier way. And the easier way is just having someone teach you because you know what? It cost me several hundred thousand dollars of my parents' money, you know, invested into me because they thought I knew what I was doing. And I didn't. And that's where trading comes in, ladies and gentlemen, knowing how to play the game. Now, let me just, just really briefly, just to let you know a little bit more about it. When I first, um, when I started, um, it was basically, I, was, you know, I started being a stockbroker 
I hated it, re- realized I was just a glorified salesman. And But um, one thing I learned being in the brokerage business is that the best people that made the most money in this business were the traders. And I said, you know what? I want that job. I, I you see that, that guy comes in early, leaves early. Meanwhile, I'm working 12 hours a day. And I said, you know what? I want to be a trader. I said, listen, I passed my seven, my 63 license. Let me go out there and do it. Well, at the time, I was working with my sister. And you can actually read um, read my book. Um, you can actually buy it. It's coming out on Amazon in August, but you could buy the PDF version right now on Cyber Training University's website. Just go to shop.com, and you'll see it there. But you know, and I recommend you buying it now. It's going to be twice the price when they when they publish it. But um, the thing was this: my sister actually was smarter than me. I'll be honest. She went out there and took a job to learn how to trade. Me, the egotistical guy, I said, I don't even want to teach, but I'll go do it myself. So <laughs> I did exactly what it was. I went out there, learned it myself, and lost miserably. So what happened was she went out there, and she went out there, and she, you know, sitting at the dinner table, she's talking about like, oh, Fausto, I was trading U.S. robotics. You see Goldman Sachs on Instanet. He was dumping stock on level two, and I'm like, I'm like, how do you how did you see Goldman Sachs? And I'm like, oh, like we got this thing called Level Two, and then I had the Internet machine, and we were watching him, and we were just following him. And meanwhile, I'm seeing her driving a brand new BMW, and I'm driving a you know old Datsun 280ZX. You know what I mean? So I'm like, something's wrong. And um, I said, you know what? I threw up the white flag and I said, listen, you know, Tina, could you show me what, what, what's going on? I, so I went to go work with her. I went in for the day, and what ended up happening, what I learned on the first day on the job, should have never made my first trade. I deserved every single thing that happened to me, everything. I was the one that actually went out there, lost miserably. Why? For one reason, ignorance. That's what it was all about, ignorance. I had no idea what trading was all about. I had no idea exactly that there was all this data out there, okay? And that's why I lost money. I lost money for that one reason. But then it was like a light bulb. And the exact light bulb that kicked in for me is the same light bulb that's going to kick in for you right now. The same exact thing. The way I was trained is how I'm going to train you today. And what my goal is, what I'm going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, the same exact thing that I was trained, I'm going to pass it over to you. I'm going to show you exactly everything that I was offered on the first day of the job, how to trade. And let me tell you, when I first started, right away, ladies and gentlemen, on the first day on the job, it's, I, I realized I need to get educated. And within six months, I became very, very successful. I started when I was 22 years old, okay? I know this might sound crazy, but I was semi-retired at the age of 22, uh, 24. In two years, I was making consistent money. I was, you know, making the quarter million dollars a year. And what ended up happening is that being a trader, uh, being 24 years old, it wasn't pretty good to be semi-retired. And I know that. I know some of us wish we could do that now, but uh, but the truth is that that's how it all came about. And people always ask me, "Could you, Fausto? Could you teach me how to trade? You know, how did you do it? How did you do that?" And you know what? I never want any one of you to go through what I went through. I never want any of you to go through and lose the money that I lost, and and try to sit there and figure it out on your own. It's so much cheaper. It's so much less expensive you know, to just have a mentor train you. And, you know, and over the years, I had people that challenged me, and I basically became a 12-time champion uh, competing against every single school in the industry. You can go to moneyshow.com. You can give them a call, Traders Expo. I don't know. Has any of you ever been to those trade shows? I've been to the Money Show or Traders Expo. They're the largest financial um, expo here in the States. Mike, you were. Bill, you were. Good, good. John? Larry, good. So the thing is this. Over the years, I started back in 1995, and I haven't turned back since. been teaching people ever since. Love what I do. And not only do I love what I do, I also run a professional trading floor. 
And I'm going to introduce you that to the end of this presentation because I want every single one of you to come and join me and see hands-on, real experience, what it's like to trade side-by-side -side by a champion and by students that were trained how to do it properly. And not only from seeing it, but hearing it from them, how successful the great stories of how well and how much money they're making. But it all starts here. It starts here to make you realize, is this what you want to do? And do you want to do this successfully? How to do it properly. All right. Now, uh, I have a question for all of you. I, I just want to get to know a little bit about everyone. What, what kind of trader are all of you? Are you day traders, stock traders, forex traders? What kind of trader is everyone here? Forex traders, futures, day trader, day trading swing, 30 years in bonds. Okay, David. Jim does day trading. Vernon does Forex. Doug is trying to learn day trading. Okay. Now, just to let you know, day trading is the least risky. I'll tell you why, because you're just getting in out the same day. Um, swing trading is a lot more riskier because you're holding positions overnight, a lot more research, a lot more technical analysis. You know, um, investing, you know, obviously is even is, is also very difficult because now you're dealing with book values and, you know, um, growth and all that stuff. So the thing is this, futures, Forex, listen, it's great that all of you are learning that. We got courses uh, on those also. But the thing is you should all know how all the market works. So don't be – you got to find what fits in your schedule, which one you like, and then go from there. Now, what – what is the high frequency trades? Okay, what exactly are we actually accomplishing? What are, is it rate? That's the whole topic of discussion. There's a big debate, hot topic. Well, let me explain to you in layman terms of what brokers don't want you to know. Okay? Because I want you to understand they do not work for $7 a ticket. Okay, I want you to – do you all understand that? They do not work for $5 a ticket. They'll be bankrupt by the end of the day, okay? All right. The way they make money is they trade against you. You have an account. And let me, let me show you in detail. This is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your order, okay? That's you. Now, you take your order, and you're going to send an email to your online broker. From your online broker, what they're going to do is take your order, and they're going to email. They're going to sell it to another brokerage firm. It's called payment for order flow. Does anyone here know what payment for order flow is? Hold on. Let me just X that uh, something. There we go. Does anybody know what payment for order flow is? Some of you do. Okay, a rebate. All right. That's exactly right. It's rebating. It's, um, it's when they take your order and they're selling it to another brokerage firm, and they're making several hundred dollars on this. If you don't believe me, read the back of your account statements. All right? Now, I don't know if you guys care for this, but – do you really care taking your order and having some other brokerage firm sell your order? I know I don't. <laughs> you know, do you? And that's right, Stanley. That's right. So the thing is this. Brokerage firms go out there and they route your order. Okay, they take your order, they sell it. Now, if they can't sell it, then it goes to the brokerage firm, the market maker. They have a trading department. They're going to go through an order routing system. The first place they're going to check is they're going to see if they have stock in inventory and sell you stock as inventory. Has anybody ever heard of the dark pools? Anybody know what dark pools are? Here they go, oh, ooh, the dark pools. Oh, it's such an ugly word. Why they, it's, it's like something dark. What are, what are they called dark pools? 
make they make things sound like they're so I always try to scare the general public. Okay. But basically a dark pool is it, you know, it's trading within the brokerage firm's account. Okay. That's all it is. It's off the exchange. That's right, Steve. Now, if they can't, if they don't have stock and inventory, then it goes to the trading desk. They're going to go out there. If they, they're going to try to buy it on the bid, sell it to you on the order, and the order gets executed. So, I mean, think about it. This is the process that it takes to get a stock to get executed with an online broker. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not in the business. When I have money on the line, I, I, I don't want somebody else working my order, okay? I work too damn hard to, 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 to buy something where I want to buy it versus have somebody to go out there and try to make money on my order before they execute my order. Is that what you want? Is that what you is that kind of a brokerage firm you want to have? Some guy that's trading against you? You know, it's like it, to me it sounds like a no offense to like um car dealerships. But you ever go like go to the car dealership and you always feel like they're trying to they're trying to scam you to buy like, you know, you go there to buy the car and next thing you know, they're like, Oh, we don't have that car. Oh no, 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 no. That car is, you know, you got to buy the extended insurance and the warranty. You ever feel that way? You know, that's what they feel like. They're dealers. That's what the word NASDAQ is. National Association of Securities Dealers Quotation uh, Automat Automated Quotation uh, System. Bait and switch. Exactly, Doug. Is that the kind of company you want to do business with? Okay, because sometimes if you want to see a change for the better, you got to start. You got to. Uh, you got to take things in your own hand. Love this slide from Clint Eastwood, he, you know, and, and this is what you have to do. And that's why you guys are here. And that's where direct access comes. Does anybody here know what direct access is? What is direct access? Any of you here know? Okay. James does. Doug knows. Stanley, you do. Okay. Stanley, you could just click to all participants and you can email every. You can text everyone. Bill, good. Uh, can you recommend a reliable brokerage firm? No market makers, please, Katie. Katie, that's an excellent question, but I'm going to give you an excellent answer. That's the least of your problems right now, okay? I always tell this to everyone. I am your parent. You're my child. You want to start learning how to drive a car? Well, before I tell you what car you need, which is like a brokerage firm, let's go learn and see if you know how to drive first. The easiest thing is open up an account. The hardest thing is learning how to trade. All right, so basically, it's just you, the market, the market, you. Now, I'm going to show you something probably some of you have never seen before. Have any of you guys ever seen a real, live, direct access trade? I mean, an order going to the market and seeing your order out there. Has any of you ever seen that before, a real, live order? Wow, I can't believe it. Only five, ten people? Of course, it's all my students. Craig, you never saw it before. Doug H. never saw it. Wow, James never saw it. Would you like to see one? Would you guys like to see what it's like to be driving your own car in the market? Want to see what it's like to sit there and do real live trade? Who here wants to see real live trading? All right. Can everyone see my um, my little execution system right here? Just give me a chat back. All right. So what you're looking at right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very simple system, okay? And um, I got like a watch list over here. Here's my execution box, all right? Um, some stocks that we traded that, that are moving in the market. And the bottom over here, is my trade manager. Now I'm going to go in detail and explain to you a little bit more what it is. On the right, this is called the ECN book. Okay, this is the electronic communication netbook. This is where you get to see all the orders. Okay, the high frequency trade. Now you see where it says Nasdaq. You see how it highlighted in red. It says NSDQ and pound sign. Okay, what I am going to do, I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to buy 100 shares of this stock symbol ZLTS. Now I'm only looking at the stock because it's very quiet, it's not really moving. 
Um, I want to show you on a slow moving stock. Okay. Now you see where it says market maker. That's the, that's the brokerage firm's full letter ID. This is the price and this is the amount of shares. Now watch very carefully. You see there's, there, there are people out there bidding for the stock. There's 200 shares right now. Okay. And we look over here on the right, you see what it says NASDAQ? It says there's 100 shares, 100 shares. There's two people out there that are bidding, and this is basically aggregated. Now, if I click over here and click buy, do you see what just happened? You see now there's three people there? So, and I have an order that just popped over here. Watch when I go to the yellow button, click cancel. You see how fast I disappeared? Does everybody see that? Let's do it again. I mean, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know if you guys could see it, but let me get some crayons out here. How about this will help? Look over here and look right here and look right here. Okay? Everybody got that? Look at those two spots. All right. You see right there now? Does everybody see that? Now there's a third guy right there, which is me. That's my order. And that two turned to a three. Okay, now you see it? All right. Well, guess what? Now you see it? Now you don't. I'm gone. You have just seen the power of direct access. You've just seen that. Now I'm just showing you that you just drove in a car. Now, Doug says, wow, that's pretty damn cool, and so did Al. Okay, Mike says, my God, I've never seen that before. Why do more people talk about that? Okay, you know what? Why does my brokerage firm offer that? That's another, that's another topic in itself. Listen, this is why you need to be educated about the market. How much money, more money you would have made, smarter decisions, better trades, if you were able to do trades just like this. How many of you would be happy just to know how to play the game and just knowing that you could drive your own car and not deal with headache? Every single one of you. Okay? And how do we do that? With education. Okay? So what we've done is we basically posted a live order in the market just like a real market maker. Okay? This is, well, let me tell you, when I was first introduced when my sister actually brought me to her trading floor and showed me this I'm like how could anybody even have a chance to make money do you guys know what the failure rate of trading is does everybody know what the failure rate in trading no no no, no not 50% James says 95 Alexis says it's it's you it's 90% Steve no it's not 98% my God, if it, could you imagine a doctor coming up to you right now and saying, oh, you want to trade the market? Uh, or, oh, you want, to, you want to go for surgery? I'm sorry, you want to go for surgery? Oh, you want stitches? Well, let me just tell you, it's a 90% failure rate. You're going to die on the table, okay? If I was your doctor and I told you I have a 90% chance of dying on the table, would you still do it? Would you still go out there and, and go through the procedure? 90%? You probably get a second opinion, Rick, right? All right. Well, get all the opinions you want. That's the fact. The bottom line is this. Every single one of you are trying to act as a professional trader. And that's the way how you have to look at it. So the thing is this. How do you beat and not be part of that 90%? You got to learn how to trade. You got to learn from the true market makers. So what is level two? Well, basically level two, you hear about it, brokerage firms offer it, but level two does not give you the data like level uh, that the ECN book gives you. Okay, what I just showed you. What you see is you level two will show you the market makers, will show you the bids, the sales, but when it comes to total view, level three, you're seeing 20 times more data. Now you're seeing all the block orders, all right? So a question to all of you is this. How do stocks go up and down in the market, everyone? What drives stocks up and down? 
Uh, Rick, no. No, Rick, that's uh, not, not true. Everybody, ha- could, everyone should be able to answer this question. I don't think you need to go to school to learn this. How do these stocks go up and down on the market? Every one of you should answer it. Come on, George, Drew, Rick, Nico, come on. Just write S&D, supply and demand, right? Okay. Now, think about it. When you trade in the market, do you see the supply and demand out there? Do you see the buyers and sellers? How much better, smarter, more money you would make in the market if you were able to see the supply and demand? Okay? How many of you actually see the supply and demand in the market? Everyone says, wow, a lot. <laughs> well, Carrie, thank you for sharing that. Carrie's just telling me, Fausto, have you on speaker while babysitting uh, 11 to 12 year old? They're learning a lo- and loving this. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Carrie, for sharing that. Um, just put that in there. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the things that you need to learn. Okay. Now, what I kind of teach my students is this you need to see the big block orders. Okay, because 100 share buyers do not make a demand and 100 share sellers do not make a supply. But 14,000 share buyers and 36,000 shares do. Now, what's, what high frequency trades are is basically those big block orders. It helps you make smarter trading decisions by not just having the information, but the right information. Like here you have an example. Everyone here know how to read a chart? Okay, good. We got a lot we got a lot of chart readers here. Good. Which which by the way is one of the biggest mistakes in trading. The first thing you learn in trading is not reading a chart. Okay? That's the last thing you learn because it's everything and, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Okay, I know people like what the hell is he talking about? Let me explain something to you. Okay? And you could all you know doubt me all if you wanted to. But when you watch CNBC and you see them uh, broadcasting on the New York Stock Exchange and you're looking them on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, next time you see them talk to the traders, I want you to go out there and count how many, um, how many charts they have up. But you know what you see? Orders. It's orders that control the market and it's orders that actually control the chart. So here you have an example. You see this resistance levels right there, guys? See that right there? That's resistance. That's support. That's resistance. And what happens in resistance, the stock's supposed to go down. Well, where, what, it, what, makes, what makes a resistance, everyone? What makes resistance on a chart? That's right, a supply, okay? So let's look over here on the supply side. These are the sell orders. These are the buy orders, okay? We got 2,000 shares to sell. We got 75,000 share of the buy, all right? Any questions? What do you think the price of the stock's gonna do? Is it gonna go down like the chart is saying, or is it gonna go up because there's a buyer of 75,000? Elizabeth says it's gonna pop, I like that word, okay? That's exactly right. How many of you here see these orders? How many of you see these orders? Oh, come on. There's got it. That's it? Just about. James does. Stanley does. Bill does it. Mary does it. Mike does not Okay. Well, how much better and smarter decisions would you make if you were able to see those orders? Well, this, this is the email I'm getting a lot. And I'm not trying to um, dodge some of the questions, okay, because uh, I'm getting um, – you know, uh, Paul Levine is saying 99% of all HFT orders are canceled, okay? Now, first of all, I'm just very curious, Paul, who told you that? If you could just tell me, I'm just curious. Like, who actually and told you that that's true, okay? I would love to hear it, okay? And secondly, let me explain something to you. I've been doing this for almost 20 years now. Okay, and everyone he always says, but they're all fake orders. All right, you know what? 
Paul, if you think it's so fake, Mike, you think it's so fake? Bill, you, you, uh, Bill told me a school he took a class that's the fake order. You know what? If you think it's so fake, why don't you tell the guy who told you it's fake? Why don't you go tell him, well, if it's so fake, why don't you go execute the order and see if, he, if you get executed or not? Let's go see how fake it really is. Let's put an order out there. Hey, there's a guy out there selling 20,000 shares. Let's go buy it. What's the worst thing could happen? We own it, but you said it's a fake order. So let's go buy it. Let's go try it out. So this is what you do. Next time someone says that to you, you go out there and you tell them and says, you know what? If it's so fake, let's go execute it right now. Let's see how fake it really is. And I guarantee you 100%, the person who said it says, well, I don't really want to do that. I don't know. It could be fake. There's nothing fake about that order. And don't you forget it, guys. They, yeah, that's right. They are real orders. That's right, Stanley. Okay? Now, can they cancel? Of course they can cancel. Can't you cancel an order? You can, Don't you ever cancel an order? All the time. Okay? But does it mean that they're out there and it's fake? There's nothing fake about that order. And always remember that. Okay? But the thing that we kind of teach you here at Cyber Trade University is we go out there and we trade stocks that have action in it, okay? We try to buy stocks. We want to have a game plan. We want to know why this is resistance. Why is this resistance? Why is this support resistant? And why is this support? Well, the thing is this. You need to know where the big block orders are. And when you look down that list and you look and you see all these hundreds, and all of a sudden you see a 45,000 share seller out there, well, it probably makes perfect sense. The reason why this is that 45K guy right here. My writing doesn't look that well when I'm trying to write with a mouse. But that's basically what that is. Um, Kenfi says, uh, can you cancel an order uh, when it's filled? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They, you can't do that. Absolutely not. Hey, you own it. You you put an order out there. You got executed. You own it. There's no there's no um it's no there's no uh, it's and buts and uh, I would I'm sorry it was an accident. This is the market. You know I, I wish I could find a company like that. You know what? When you find a brokerage firm like that, um, Kepi, let me know because I would love to open an account with them. I would love to put trades out there. And if it doesn't go my way, and they're like, oh no, you know what? That was an accident. I, I want to cancel it. <laughs> yeah, everyone's saying, yeah, me too. <laughs> it's like guaranteed money back from Tom. That's what he's selling, you know. But you know what? I I, I gotta respect. I have to respect what Kep Conti is saying because, first of all, I don't know where where he got his education from, and also there, you know, maybe he got maybe misinformed by someone who actually trained him, which is wrong. That's all. Um, I will trade a million dollars, Carmen says, with a company like that. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal for me. All right, so anyway, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, about the high-frequency trade. The thing is this. You need to know where the big orders are because that's what controls the market. Now, this is basic trading 101, okay? This is not, this is not something that we, you know, that was invented the wheel or is this real, is this fake? These are real orders. It's not Wall Street trade. Actually, 70% of the volume is controlled by high-frequency trades, okay? If you were able – okay, let, just think about this for a second. If I yeah, – that, that's true, Bill. Um, they're also known as iceberg orders. That's correct, okay? Now, the thing is this. If I was able to show you oh, – oh, look at that. Pretty um, – um, on CNBC, and we have CNBC right now. They're actually talking about high-frequency trades right now. There you go. It was one of the, the guy right now uh, – uh, Kisamino was one of the guys that was it, it was uh, part of the whole high frequency trade. I don't know if you guys see that right now. Okay, so the thing is this: if I was able to teach you and learn to see seventy percent of the orders out there, what is that worth to you? What is that worth? Alexa says a lot. Big money. Really? Carmen says tons of money. There you go. A lot. It's worth gold. Okay. Well, guess what? 
At the end of this presentation, I'm going to show you real live orders, live trades for only 29 bucks. Okay? So I, some of you are probably like, wait a minute, I'm paying thousands, tens of thousands. You're telling me for $29, yes. I'm going to, for $29 at the end of this presentation, okay, I'm going to show you what it's like to be with me personally to trade side by side with me for two weeks. And I don't want to want you to judge me on what happened today or yesterday or tomorrow. Two weeks. Okay, and you'll see that you've been trading blind your whole life, and everything's about to change. And please understand something it's never too late to learn. Okay, uh, yes, it does, Paul. It works on um, it works on ETFs, it works on everything. Okay, so the thing is this uh, when it comes to trading, you can see how stocks do you have these big hidden orders, which a lot of people you don't see. And I know a lot of you guys read charts and you're like, well, you know, stock is resistance. Let me add a Fibonacci. Let me add this. At the end of the day, listen, it's all about supply and demand. Because with that big demand out there of the 11,000 share orders, the 7,000, the 2,000, and not these 500 orders, that's what drives the stock down. And that's what you have to understand when it comes to trading. Uh, now, when it comes to um, looking at resistances and support levels, you just need to know how to play the game. So see the HFTs on time and sale. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. What is time and sale? Time and sales are confirmations from the trade. So the thing is this. Now some of you are coming out there and telling me, you're saying, Fausto, um, how do we know if that order got executed? Well, that's what time and sales are about. And time and sales, they, you know, the chart gets its data from time and sales. Who here is using time and sales? Anybody here using time and sales? Not, not enough. Obviously, I see a lot of students are, but not a lot. Time and sales are going to be confirmations that the trade's getting executed. And these are things that we kind of teach you in trading, okay? Now, the great thing about trading also, it's a part-time job. This is not a full-time job. If you guys are up all night watching CNBC, going on every financial station, talking, listening to every chat room, this and that, trading is only 10% of your day. 90% of your day is education, okay? I don't even know 95% of stocks that I'm in on the course of the day because I really don't care, okay? I could tell you a bunch of stocks I traded today, and we're going to go through them. I mean, I don't know if you heard. Anyone heard about the stock symbol ASTC? Anybody heard of ASTC? Anybody hear about that stock? ASTC. Come on. Somebody had to hear about ASTC. Oh, Bill and Doug. These are all my students. Fun. AS, go look at, go, could you guys, could you guys, anyone have an execution system? Could you bring, bring up the stock symbol right now? Bring it up. ASTC. Could you guys tell me how much is it up today? It's up a dollar fifty nine and percent wise and percent what is it up okay so it's up seventy percent okay do you guys are you guys here to make money or do you care what you trade what's more important making money or knowing what the company does what's more important to you exactly making money okay so that, ladies and gentlemen, was one of the biggest mistakes that we made when it came to trading, okay? Uh, without, the way I teach my students and the way I show you how to make money in this market is the exact same way with how I was trained. Now, I was trained by the best traders in Wall Street, okay? I live here in New York. It's the financial capital of the world. And I always tell everyone, listen, if anybody here wants to learn um, and wants to get into the oil business, I don't know if anybody here is in the oil business, or you're looking to get any oil business, I recommend you learn from someone down in Texas because that's what they do. Oh, if you want to learn to be in the movies, I recommend you to go to Hollywood in California. I wanted to learn about the stock market, and this is what I was told. You want to learn about the stock market, you learn from, learn from people on Wall Street 
You live here in New York. And exactly what I teach you, and the reason why I became very successful, because I was trained by the best traders. And one thing they always taught me, they said, Fausto, this is a part-time job. You're going to be working part-time, and you'll be finding stocks that make big moves early in the morning, and just take your day's pay and enjoy it. That's all you have to do. It's a part-time job, okay? Plug. I mean, these are trades. I mean, look at these big winners. Look at these big runners, okay? These are things that you look for that I teach my students. Listen, who here doesn't want to work 30 minutes a day? Okay, and if you don't believe me, I want to, I want to bring, I'm going to share my little trading room with you. I'm going to show you. I want to show you some stock that we traded today. You're going to hear from real live traders out there, and they're going to tell you the same thing. It's a part-time job. You get to enjoy the days off. You know, you can go out there and trade the market, just keeping things very, very simple. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. You guys can always follow us on Twitter. Um, I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, you know, sample videos. You know, if you want it, and, and I always recommend people that you really want to get the style, get comfortable, how somebody, what their style is and what they trade. And, you know, go to YouTube. You want to see some of the stocks that I traded? Go and look uh, and go check out our Twitter feed. Um, the names are Cyber Trading You for all of them. Just do a search for these words, and you'll get access to all the some uh, sample recordings and also all the trade picks that we've done. Uh, there we go. Okay, so stocks we traded this morning. All right, Twitter. Anybody hear what happened with Twitter this morning? Anybody hear what happened with Twitter? Anybody trade it? Okay. Now, if you look right here, let me just get my crayons out here. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, if you read the time, um, I actually got into the position. I told everyone, all my students, uh, right around here, 830, okay? And... Um, you could see these are my morning picks. These are stocks I picked this morning. And you could see how the stock right from uh, went from 13, 13, uh, what was it, uh, 34.50, let's just say. Let's use a conservative number. And right at the open, look, look at this big volatility move right here. Stock goes all the way to 35.12. Not bad. Let, let's do the math. If you bought the stock at 8.30 and you sold it at, 10 o'clock, or even 10, 10, 40, uh, 9.45. You're talking what, about an hour and 15 minutes, okay? You do the math, how much money of a movement is that? 75 cents, okay? Not bad for a day's pay. But that's not the big winner. I'm only bringing that up because that's what everyone was talking about. Did you guys see the stock symbol XGTI? Did we see XGTI this morning? Okay. XGTI was my biggest winner. Okay. XGTI, I do a meeting in the morning. XGTI, um, it's up, um, it was, it, now it's only up 30, 36%, but, you know, it backed off a little bit. Uh, but, I found this stock. I do my meetings at nine o'clock. I actually do this broadcast. I send. I, I do a. I do a meeting at nine a.m. A live broadcast with all my traders. We found the stock this morning at nine a.m. And um, you know, let's just say conservatively. Let's say if you jump in, even at nine nine nineteen. You know, right around here, right. So right there, you do the math. The stock goes from two dollars and let's say fifty cents. In a matter of what is that, 15 minutes? How much of a move is that in 15 minutes worth of work? A little bit more, maybe 30 minutes. You bought it at 250 and you sold it at 290 how much did you make? Everybody. It's not 20%. That's not what I'm looking for, Elizabeth. On 1,000 shares, you made 40 cents. 40 cents times 1,000 shares is how much? 400 bucks. You guys have a calculator? What is 400 times five days a week? Okay. 
times 52 weeks. Could you guys add that up for me? Mm, about 104,000, exactly. All right. Now, what you're looking at is real data. This is, I mean, you could ask any of the students, any of my traders, they'll tell you. Not all the stocks I win, okay? And I, and I always tell my students, don't judge me on my winners. Judge me on my losers, how few I have. I don't win all the time. Now, the question one of you asked me is, how did you know to get out at that price at 945? Well, very simple. Big sellers on the offer. That's not too hard to figure out, right? So that's the, what we do, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we kind of work to get like a team. Now, here's another big winner, okay? The ASTC. Now, if you look over here, I want you to look right here, ladies and gentlemen. These are all the text messaging. And you can see some of the students here, Lee, Mark, Brett. Great call, Fausto. Look at that. Made 36 cents in it, okay? Uh, Mark made 24 cents in it. Uh, Mark also lost in one of those stocks. That was fine. Uh, Lee made uh, 51 cents on it. Now, look at the stock made it move right around 940. Stock went from 290 all the way to 450. Now, granted, they all didn't make as much because that's a big winner right there, but not bad. Bill, you made how much? Anyone here who actually traded it? I know I had some students here. Um, Bill, um, Bill said he made 28 cents. Stanley, what'd you make on that trade? What'd you make, Stanley? 36 cents Stanley made, okay. All right. Steve Fisher made 13 cents. Hey, you know what? 13 cents is better than no cents. Kerry made 31 cents. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, these are all students, okay? Elvis, 1,000 share lot. I mean, think about it. 1,000 shares of $3 stock, that's not a lot of money. Anyone here, um, anyone here, uh, by the way, for some of you that are students, you notice that little Fausto flag? I teach Fausto flags. Um, some of the strategies I was trained a long time ago, and actually, um, for some of you, the students here, I hope you see that, that where it happened right before 10 a.m. Does everybody see that? So the thing is this. When it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, you got to know how to play the game, and you got to know where to find the stock. Do you have any, any discrimination regarding a trading at $3 stock? You know, I was just talking to a, um, somebody he brought up to my attention the other day. He says, I went to a school. And they told me, do not trade stocks under $15. I'm like, why? Because, because they're all garbage companies. I'm like, do you really think I care? What the hell does ASTC do? You know, the stock is up literally. It was up almost 100% today. You really think? I don't even own it anymore. I sold it. You really think I care what the company does? You really think I care what, 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 uh, you know, what, what Vivas does or, or how about the stock that we traded, Dara, not too long ago, the SPEX? You know, but ooh, you got to trade Facebook because you, you know the company. Yeah. How did, how's that working out with the people who own a Apple? Wasn't Apple like $900 or something like that? They drop all the way down to 400 How's that working out for them? Okay. Um, Theo, that doesn't apply to everyone. All right, guys. So I'm running out of time here. Um, so I want to kind of get right to the point, because I know some of you, you want to join me, I'm going to give you this opportunity. Why 80, 90% of traders fail? Because they don't know how to play the game. They don't realize the psychology about it. They don't understand. And the thing is that trading is a fun job. It's the best job in the world. This is me, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and this is you. You need a coach. You want to succeed. You want to do this as a career. You want to see some real money being made in the market. Well, you got to, you have to make it an investment in yourself. That's the way how you have to look at it. Um, so let's 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 kind of do a quick visit of the floor of Cybertrain University. Okay, uh, let me go out there and just share the screen. All right, so basically here you have um, a bunch of traders right here. And um, let me just put a chat in. Hi, all.
So I'm going to just tell everybody uh, up in the chat. Um, uh, what? Would everyone trade every uh putting this in the chat room? What did um what did everyone trade today? Now a lot of people left because the market's kinda it's the slow time, you usually trade the first thirty minutes. Um but usually sometimes they'll leave the they'll leave the room open. But as you can see, these are all our students right here. And you're all gonna be invited to come and join us. Just kinda gotta kinda bring this up a little higher here. But you can see all the chats out there, the uh, the BCRX, the Twitter, these are the screenshots that I've taken out there. Uh, these are all the people. Uh, Grant, thank you, Fausto, made some money. Brent made 64 cents in uh, uh, XGTI. Showing everyone how much money we made on that stock, trading it. Uh, told everyone I took a loss in one of the other positions. But you can see, basically, these are all traders, and we're chatting, and we're trading all day long. Okay, looks like a lot of people took off already, though. <laughs> looks like they did exactly what they were supposed to do. Uh, Steve just said, I'm in your chat room right now, that's why. So, trading is the best job in the world. It really is. Because you can spend more time with your family. If, you're, if, you're, if you have grandkids, you can spend more time with them. You can go get your hair done. You could go out and play golf. It's the best job in the world. But why do people fail? Because no one trained you how to do it right. No one did. And how are you supposed to do it? You need someone to teach you, need to learn. Think about it. Would anybody here give their money to a financial plan or an analyst or a broker that never learned about finance? Would you do it? Would you give you the, give you the, give, you're hardworking money to somebody to do it? I, you know, I'm getting like a thousand no. Of course not. I know it's a dumb question. Well, guess what? You want a dumb answer? What do you think you're doing? You're pretending to be something that you were never taught what to do. And if you don't want to be part of that 70 or 80% failure rate, you need to learn and get a mentor. And that's what we teach you here at Cyber Trade University. We'll teach you the art of trading. We're going to give you the recipe. We're going to give you the lesson planners. We're going to give you the coaching. We're going to give you the professional trading room. We're going to give you the stocks to watch. We're going to show you the head fakes, the traps, the journaling, you know, everything that you need to succeed when it comes to trading, everything you need to know about dark pools, everything you need to know about high-frequency trade, everything you need to know about level two, total view, everything. But you got to start learning, and, and that's one of the things that helps you become very successful in trading. Now, also just kind of just kind of reiterate a little bit more, um, for some of you, I know I said this before, being a 12-time champion, but we were also ranked number one school by Equities Magazine, you know, and we're very proud to say that. And why? Because all the instructors here at work at Cybertrain University are all market makers. If you had an opportunity to learn, who do you want to learn from? Market makers, and that's what we are. So how could you start learning how to make the $200, $1,000 a day, the $100 plus thousand dollars a year? How can you start? Well, very simple. I'm offering, I'm going to, I hate to use this word, but I'm going to prostitute myself for, to work for you guys, sweat, be there all day for two weeks for $29 in my professional trading room. You're going to get the morning picks, the afternoon picks. I'm going to trade together. We're going to see live trading, everything, okay? You're going to see the high-frequency trades. You're going to see everything for two weeks. And once again, I don't want you to judge me how all my great winners, I want you to judge them on my losers. Because everyone's like, oh, you got all these winners. What about the losers? Because that's where everyone has the big problems, about the losers. Now, the $29 is cost, is basically that is to cover the cost of me laying out the money for the webinar technology. Obviously, you know, technology is not free, but, uh, but to keep you there for two weeks, I, all I'm looking to do is recuperate the cost to have you in the meeting. That's it. But my goal is this, after two weeks, if you are impressed, well, then hopefully you're going to give me the opportunity to teach you how to trade because you're not going to learn how to trade in two weeks. It doesn't happen in two weeks, okay? What you need to see and what you need to learn, everyone, is do you want, do, do you want to, uh, to learn how to do this? Do you want to know what the real truth about it? And do you want to sit and, and on side-by-side side of a true professional? Think about it. Anyone here follow sports? If you had the option, if you want to become a professional football player, 
Think of the most famous coach in the world. If you had the opportunity to sit by him and he could teach you to become a better trader, why would you not? If you love to cook and you could sit next to Mario Papali, let's just say, or any of the top chefs in the world, you know, for, uh, for two weeks, so he could show you if, if you're capable of running your own restaurant before you go out there and do it. This is your opportunity. So go out there and learn. Now, if anybody wants um, to email me, that's my personal email address, balancedop at ccucorp.com. Feel free to um, get that, okay, and, and email me if you have any questions. Now, how do you register for it? Let me just give you guys the link. You can actually access it right on our homepage or our website. Um, and I'm going to put the link in the chat room. And if you also click on my name, you will also be able to access it right there. You see a little bobby pin right there and you'll be able to click on it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Mary says, uh, are you like Vitaly? I'd rather eat, uh, eat, eat your cookies than learn how to cook myself. Well, the thing is this. You all need to learn how to cook yourself. You all need to learn how to trade on your own. My goal is I'm not going to be there to hold your hand forever. Um, I always tell my students, you're, you're my children. I'm your parent. I need to teach you, and then you need to go on your own and figure it out on your own. That's the most important thing. Now, the thing is this, ladies and gentlemen. Make a small investment, $29. There's no, by the way, you're not going to be charged $1,000 after two weeks. We don't play that game. You want to continue Cyber Training University, you let us know, okay? If not, you know, let, let bygones be bygones. Go out there and try to do it on your own. I, you know, but I just want to kind of remind all of you guys, you need to learn before you could earn, all right? And, and the thing is this, it's so much cheaper to sit there and watch someone do it than go out there and do it on yourself. Give us a call. Oh, I'm throwing in a bonus too, okay? My staff's probably gonna kill me for this, all right? I'm gonna give everybody a big bonus. If you register right now, by the way, we only teach 20 students. The first 20 students that register right now, okay, not only are you gonna be sitting side by side with me, but you're also gonna get a free coaching class with one of, the, one of our, um, instructors so you know what you're going to get an opportunity to talk to an instructor why not do that so this is what i want you guys to do the first 20 that register online right now or you can call in right now you're going to get a free coaching and and by the way when the 20 seats get sold um you guys got to wait an additional two weeks for the next seats to open up we don't there's too many it's too much you know we can't we can't have you could see there's over 180 190 people in here um, actually more of a 200. You can't have everyone in here um, logged in. So what we do is uh, we only do it in 20 people at a time. All right. Carmen, you registered? Well, well thank you very much, Carmen. Well, 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 just hopefully you're one of those 20 people that <laughs> got in. All right. Uh, I think you did, but we'll double check. All right. But um, thanks, Doc, for another great, fast-moving demonstration, Doug. Well, thank you very much, Doug. I really appreciate your comment. Uh, any, any questions, by the way, can answer? Any questions? Any questions? Um, listen, guys, I see that, you know what? If you're on hold, I see the phone ringing. If you guys are on hold, um, and you can't get through, listen, the safest way to get, to get your seat is um, I just recommend you just go online and register, okay? That'll probably be the best way. Uh, Carmen says, oh, I like to see how you make lots of money. Well, listen, you got two wonderful weeks to do it. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Yes, Skip, they're all live calls. It's live in the market. Uh, do you trade options? Yes, we do. Uh, uh, can, 
Dan, are you going to be busy next week? Well, listen, the thing's been recorded. You could always come back. You could always reserve in the following week. So just when you, when you register, talk to one of the education advisors. They'll take care of that. Can you recommend a, 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 a reliable brokerage firm from Katie? Yes, we can, Katie. But you know what? When you register um, and you get your, and you get your um, free uh, um, coaching class from one of the instructors, uh, the best thing to do is at a day, we, we judge everyone by a case-by-case -case basis. So what you do is we just tell him, and then he'll, he'll be able to um, – so he'll advise you. We can't tell you which brokerage firms are better. It, we, it, it's just not fair for all of you because you're all different. Some of you trade different markets. Some of you in different countries have different rules and regulations. And like, you know, one of you asked me, what's the account balance? You know, listen, look at the stock that we traded, the one I just told you. Yeah, what is it, a $3 stock? I'm not telling you to trade $50, $100 stock. You don't need a lot of money to do this. Um, Stefan has so how do stocks selected in the morning? Well, do you ever see pre market trading? Because that's how we do all our trades, right through pre market trading. And that's what, and that's why we do our, our when you register for my event for twenty nine dollars, we do a live broadcast audio and you'll see all that pre market trading. Um Good lesson. Love to try it down the road. Well, once again, I don't think that we don't we don't really offer this promotion all the time. We've just done it for the past few um, the past month, but uh, we always do kind of run some type of a promotion for everyone. But don't lose the opportunity because it might not be there again. That's all I could tell you. If you're really interested. Um, oh, and and the thing is, you don't need to be there. You know, these things are being tweeted, texting. Uh, we text message all the trades. You can log in from your cell phone. You know, we make it pretty very convenient. Uh, uh says, is it possible to trade on select days and not every day? Absolutely. It's not a full-time job. Yes, uh, Kathy, we do cover options at, at 8.30 in the morning. We absolutely do. Kay says, I'm ready. How do I sign up? The best thing to do, like I told you, um, I, I, I see the phone ringing, and uh, listen, if you're on hold, the best thing to do is just click on that link, and uh, actually what I'll do is I'll actually, let me just bring you there to Cyber Training University. Just go to Cyber Training University. It looks like some of my students did come back in the trading room. Steve says, I'm in your class here. Steve asks, hey, Fausta, ASPS, then I do, we're nice. Uh, up again on Canadian solar, big lots of buyers. Looks like uh, Lee's out there trading again. Let me just bring over the website. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. Go to Cyber Training University. And right here on the homepage, you guys see that? Where it says Cyber Group Live Trading Room, $29 with live recording days. Just click on that link right there. And um, you'll be able to register right then and there. And these are everything that you're going to get. These are the hours, the times, the meeting, testimonials, everything you guys want to learn. Uh, yes, we absolutely do deal. We do currencies. We do it right here, right here in the morning. Um, Greg McDermott does options, and he also does uh, the Forex. For it, absolutely. All right, everybody. Listen, for everyone here, listen. We're not done, okay? Uh, tomorrow we're doing a part two. I'm going to do a live trading. So even though you don't register today, and you still like, hey, you know, I really don't know Fausto. If I really am that sold or that convinced, you really could show me. Well, guess what? For the ones that registered, you are all going to have first-hand experience of what it's like to be in a real professional trading room, and you guys are going to tell the ones that didn't buy it tomorrow at 9.30 what they missed. And then, and then for some of you here at 9.30 who want to register later, that's fine. More than happy to. But what we're going to do tomorrow for all of you, we're going to have a live 
trading demonstration tomorrow. It's free. It doesn't cost anything at 935. So even though if you don't register and do this package for the two weeks, you could still register tomorrow. But in the meantime, um, right here, live recording, this is going to be it right here. There's going to be a two parts. Friday, this is it right here. You can still join us for this also. And uh, whatever you miss or you want to see, you know, what the people who bought it today, what they have to say about it, we'll be there tomorrow. So you got two great packages, one's for free and one's for $29. No, you do not need special software, Carmen. This is all browser-based. Uh, Tiger says, I, um, I registered, but I can't get the confirmation. Um, if you're having an issue, you should call the office. But you, what happens when you, when you log into your dashboard, uh, Tiger, you'll see that you'll have a window that's going to come up that will give you access to the room immediately. So you're able to launch the meeting. But nothing's going to go on until um, we got it. we're doing a live broadcast at 2.30. So right now is the slow time. We made our money within the first hour. We're going to. Well, we're going to trade the, the, the ending of the hour, so you'll see things start picking up then, okay? All right, guys, listen, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you guys to be in my trading room um, now, the ones who bought it. If not, I will see the rest of you tomorrow morning at 935, okay? Um, Philippe, you know what? Call the office. You're from a different country. You know, you're getting problems with Brazil. You shouldn't have any problem. Um, we, we teach people all over the world, but um, – Give us a call here, and they'll be able to look in it for you, okay? All right. Thanks, everyone, and uh, wish you all luck, and I look forward to seeing you, like I said, all tomorrow. Have a great day, and happy trading.